On to story number three, the UK government is facing unprecedented legal action over its continued sale of arms to Israel in the wake of the deadly aggression against the Gaza Strip. Now, the leading British law firm, Lee Day, has sent a letter to Business Secretary Vince Cable calling for the immediate suspension of licenses for the export of military hardware to Israel. The firm says the failure to suspend the licenses is illegal and has threatened to seek a judicial review of the government's reluctance to halt the arms sales. It says that there's a risk that British-made weapons may have been used by Israel during its blitz on Gaza in breach of international law. The British government has come under sustained pressure over the issue since Israel attacked the Palestinian territory on July the 8th. Jim Brand from Stop the War Coalition joins us on the phone from London to tell us what he thinks about this. Jim Brand, uh, it seems like uh, the government is going back on, on its word. It said that it's going to stop uh, the import of these, export of these uh, military equipment to Israel uh, and to stop the licenses. Uh, this was under the uh, equation, were Israel to resume its attacks in the Gaza Strip. Perhaps you could run us through as to why there's even such a consideration. Is it because of the types of weapons? Is it because of how it was used? Or is it because uh, there's international law that's being broken here? Well, there's a number of things. The British government uh, uh, historically likes to present its uh, arms exports in an ethical way. They like to say that we have restrictions and controls and these are very carefully controlled and there's no issue there. There's no problem to be worried about. So therefore they have guidelines and I think the guidelines says that uh, British Britain will not issue export licenses for weapons which can be used for external aggression or internal repression. And uh, whichever one you take Gaza to be under, then clearly it, 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 it is covered by that. And for one month during the height of the assault, uh, British government simply didn't raise that question. And then um, last weekend, a week ago, the business secretary, and it may be because he's of a different party than Cameron, and he wants to distance himself from Prime Minister Cameron, but he actually issued this statement that there were 12 licenses which were operative at the moment, which covered exports which could be which could fall under that category of being used for external aggression or internal repression. And that also seems to be a signal from the British government that uh, they think that uh, one month is long enough. It's, a, it's quite a cynical move, move uh, to signal to Israel that they think uh, that the assault as it was should stop. And, um, but that leaves the question that if they knew for one month that there were these 12 licenses that might be used contrary to government guidelines, then why didn't they do anything during the month? So that's really where things stand, and that's where the, law, the, the legal letter comes in. Of course, there's always the possibility of Israel attacking the Gaza Strip again, because uh, obviously talks in Cairo are not bearing fruit as of yet. But Jim Brand, there's also another aspect to this, uh, and that is the fact that some of these uh, uh, components, uh, for lack of a better word, that the UK is producing is used within uh, various types of military equipment that the U.S., I guess, ultimately manufactures, who then sells it to Israel. Shouldn't the U.S. also fall into this category then, or not? I think that those 12, I, I haven't seen a, a comprehensive list. When the business secretary issued the list of the 12 that he said may be covered, may fall under that category of misuse. I think he was attempting to refer to all uh, ones that may fall under that category. For example, for I think 12 or 13 years now, there have been protests at a factory in the south of England, which makes parts for export to the United States for the F-16 bomber. And the F-16 bomber, the United States exports to Israel, and Israel uses that bomber for intensively over Gaza, not just now, but over, over many years. So I think that that would be covered. But as I say, that factory has been under uh, protest for, for many years. So it's not like the British government can say, oh, we had no idea, because it's a very public thing. Also, the, the, the drones, the, Britain has extensive collaboration on drones with Israel, because Israel is one of the, Israel and the United States between them have great mastery of drone technology. 
and there is uh, there are two factories in Britain which are associated with Israeli drone production as well. Very well. Thank you very much for that, Jim Brand from Stop the War Coalition. They're talking to us from London.